Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 400, 400, 355. 10, we have 10 days left. 10 days of you having to put up with me every morning. But anyway, as you guys saw yesterday, I got my buggy, my race buggy, and I started putting it all together. I got, I'm gonna say, probably three quarters done last night. Or, or this morning if you guys saw the video it was pretty late before I went to bed I want to say it was like almost 2 a.m. when I went to bed but anyway um, I was wide awake at 7 so I was like let's get the bike ride in and uh, then we can continue getting our, our race buggy built pretty excited for this um, just another challenge right we got to keep things challenging in our lives keeps the excitement keeps the adrenaline keeps us young right uh, they always say that's another the quickest way to to uh, give up on life is to just quit doing stuff. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep going as long as I can go. Anywho, that's it. It's time for some coffee. And uh, Mama Badger and Nerdy Badger are having a blast up in Orlando. And of course, uh, Baby Badger and I will see them tomorrow evening for the Pink concert. But uh, let's go get some coffee and then give it to work. All right, all right, all right. As Matthew McConaughey would say, Day two of uh, the buggy build. There's where we left off last night. Looks like we are gonna be in bag nine, step one, which looks like it's gonna be shocks. So I mean, basically all I have left is um, shocks, motor, radio, um, tires. I think that's pretty much it. So we should be able to wrap that up today, right? Come on. Surely I can get that done today, um, hopefully. And uh, we'll be ready to take it to the track sometime this week and next weekend and so on and so forth. So I'm excited about that. Uh, my thoughts for the first little bit of this, it has uh, been a challenge. Um, the instructions have been really well, so I will tell you that much. Just follow the directions. There's a couple little places like I would, I would if it, if it were me, I would change the directions because it's a little confusing. But uh, for the most part, the directions are pretty solid, and um, I'm having a good time building it. So let's get this thing built so that I can actually play with it. Okay, helpful tip from me or hint or just whatever I like to do is anytime I go on to a new bag and new directions, I take the bag and I lay everything out. So two short springs, two long springs, the caps, um, tall, short, all the nuts, all of the different O-rings, everything. I like to lay them all out. So when I get to that instruction part where it's like, you need six of those, I can look over and go, okay, I have six of those. Or crap, I need six of those and I only have five of those, that type of thing. So I just like to have everything laid out where I can see the pile of each piece uh, before I start assembling them. Like I said, that's a personal preference. You do what you want to do, but I've seen people like in bags, right? And so then they're certain, sorting through the bag to find six of these particular washer, whereas if they had them all laid out, they'd be like, okay, there's my six washers. Let's put it together. You can spend time before doing it, or you can spend time during it doing it. So that's just a helpful little tip that I like to use. All right, shocks are done. She's ready to roll. On to bag number 10. Let's see what time it is. It is 12.42. So I've been at this a couple hours. Um, don't get in any hurry, guys. If you think like you didn't do something right, take it apart and make sure you did it right. So um, sometimes I second guess myself and it adds a little more work, but I'd rather second guess myself now than to have to do it, you know, at the track or again, uh, real short like. So anyway, continuing on, we're getting closer. All right, update. Batteries in, electronics are in, wiring is done, and um, I hooked up the controller to it, and uh, everything worked. So I've got gas, power, and I've got steering. So, so far, everything is looking good. Um, 
it's been a minute since I've done soldering like that. So that took a long time. Like I did it, I wasn't happy with it, I took it off. I did it, I wasn't happy with it, I took it off. But uh, you know, you gotta do what you feel like is best for you and your car. So that's what I did. I think I'm all set now. I'm gonna finish this thing up and uh, then I'll paint the body and uh, we'll be running here by the end of the night. Woohoo! All right. Honey. Guess what? It's alive. It's together. It's running. It's working. And now I got to do all the finishing touches. Just all the little things. But all the mechanics are done. Um, it's ready to run. Of course, I'll have to set it all up and all once I really get to running it. But um, now I can like paint the body and put all the finishing touches on it. Basically, a day and a half. I started at like 2 o'clock yesterday, 2, 3 o'clock, went to like 1 o'clock in the morning, and now I started at like 11, and now it's 5. So that's how long it took, guys. Not too bad, and it's all together, and it actually works. And the wiring part was the hard part. Just figuring where it all went was a challenge, but I'm happy to see it's going. There it is. The buggy is ready to roll. This thing is way more precision than my basher is. Um, and uh, it's not as loud either. Don't think it's as fast. Maybe taking off it's faster, but I don't think top end it's faster. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I got it done. Now I get to just put the finishing touches on it, but the bulk of the work is done. And it actually works. That's the freaking miracle. I put it together and it actually works. Now let's see what it does on a track. All right, so day two, we got the buggy all up and running. It is a fully functioning buggy. Yay! Now for my least favorite part, body work. I am just not a crafty person. So to have to cut it out and then try to paint it and try to make it look good, just not something I'm really good at. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, this is where all the creatives can really have a heyday, um, you know, being creative with their bodies. We'll see what I can do. Um, I wouldn't expect much. In fact, I thought about just running a clear body. <laughs> that's, that's how confident I am in my, my artistic ability. But anyway, that's all that's left. And then we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, so I just got my body all cut out. I hate that. That's such a pain in the ass. And now I'm painting my first my first painted body. I did one once before 20 years ago. It turned out super shitty. So let's hope this one turns out better. Um, I watched a few videos on it on YouTube. One was a really cool idea. And I think, I think it's going to turn out awesome. But um, I'll let you judge once it's done, which uh, probably be tomorrow. Um, I don't think it's going to dry soon enough tonight for me to get everything done to it, but um, I'm pretty stoked. I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna be disappointed if it doesn't. But anyway, that's it guys. Um, day two, build is done. Car's running great. Um, body just got painted. Uh, I'm ready to go to the track, man. I cannot wait. Uh, but it's probably gonna be next weekend. So I figure um, we're taking Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, Thursday, of course, being Thanksgiving, Friday, Black Friday, I imagine I'm going to go to the track. 
Um, and who knows what Saturday and Sunday will bring. Maybe uh, if I have a good enough time on Friday, I'll go Saturday or Sunday. Uh, i got to get some practice in. got to start learning all the ropes. Um, now comes the challenging part, right? Uh, I got it built. Now I've got to figure out, you know, how to tune it, what different settings change on the car and what fits my driving style the best and uh, my throttle style. Got to get used to the new controller. Uh, it's all a whole new ball game. Not to mention, I got to get used to the way elect electric um, responds to the throttle versus um, gas. I mean, all this is a huge learning curve for me, and um, I'm pretty excited to do it. Uh, right now, I'm just stoked that I got the buggy together, and uh, when I turned it on, it actually went. So I did something right. Uh, although the instructions were pretty thorough. Um, I do wish they had a little better instructions on installing the servos and all, but um, it's not their servo, so uh, they don't know which one you got. Uh, so that's a challenge. Even the directions that come with the servos and all were not real clear. Uh, I figured it out. It just took me a little while of scratching my head and maybe a little Google searching. But uh, guys, if you want to know how to do it, it's out there on the internet somewhere. Man, if I'd have had this when I was a kid, there's no telling what I would have done. Because pretty much anything you could ever imagine you want to do, somebody's done it and they've put it on YouTube where you can watch how they did it and then, uh, you know, do it yourself or, you know, find your way of doing it. Anyway, guys, that's it. The end of day two of my new adventure, um, Hobbyland. And uh, tomorrow, Baby Badger's on her way down. She needs an oil change in her car, so we're going to change her um, car oil in the morning. Then we're headed to Orlando to meet up with Mama Badger and Nerdy Badger. And then tomorrow night is their, their Christmas present. It's Pink in Concert. Uh, up in Orlando. We're going to watch Pink and Concert, then we're going to go back, stay the night at the hotel, and we will come home Monday, um, and we will have celebrated the girls as Christmas. So I'll take you guys along with me, at least as much as I can. I'm sure I can't take you into Pink much, but I might be able to get you some footage from my phone. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap. Today was a good day. I spent the entire day, I ran some errands this morning, I spent the entire day working on RCs, but you know what I didn't think about? All day. I didn't think about motorcycles. Um, that's not true. I was just out in the shop painting and I was buying motorcycles. So my day never goes, but I didn't get on, the, I didn't get on Facebook at all, um, hardly at all today, which is very rare because... Uh, um, yeah, that's my job, right? So I'm pretty excited. Today was a great day. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. And uh, you know what? We have 10 of these left. We will see you tomorrow.